Looking at these animals now, it's hard to imagine the deplorable conditions they were living in just a week ago. An environment so horrific, the Humane Society says, it's amazing the animals were able to survive. The conditions of the animals were um, very, very poor, um, as well as the conditions, um, animals in their own mud, urine, and feces. The animals removed from the home include 30 equines, 31 dogs, a cat, and a llama. There were also two dead horses and a dead donkey on the property. Stafford says this is one of the worst cases of animal cruelty he's ever seen. A good example, there was one um, Great Pyrenees type of dog that was running loose on the property, um, just allowed to roam freely. That dog, it appeared, um, had been feeding on um, one of the deceased animals on the property just to survive. All of the animals have been removed from the property and are now recovering at the Pueblo Animal Services Shelter and Livestock Facility. The Humane Society says they're working to examine them and determine what kind of medical treatment, if any, they need. A very thin horse, it's going to take at least three months to get that horse back up to a decent body condition. As for their owner, Valerie Christine Harris, this isn't her first run-in with the law. Back in 2007 and 2009, she was charged with and convicted of cruelty to animals, which begs the question, can law enforcement prevent this from happening again? I would like to see her not own or care for animals, um, at least for the maximum jurisdiction of the courts, because obviously she's proven on multiple occasions that for whatever reason, she's incapable of caring for them.